Hi everyone, I'm Fred Abley, and I want to welcome you into the site here. And in this particular portion of the site, I'm hoping that I can reach out to you and give you some tips on how to learn computer programming, or what's commonly referred to as coding. So we talk about software programming, and we also start to work in these other tools that are really popular these days, and I showcase them all over my website. So a lot of times parents are asking me, what is coding? Now, coding is actually a term that's been around for quite a while. Much like the word app, which seems really new, is actually just short for application or software application. Apps became real part or real popular when smartphones started to become widely spread and consumers started to have more and more of them. We had more and more apps. Now we have coding. Coding is software programming. <clears throat> However, there are some tools out there that will get a young person or anybody that's interested in coding started early and up and running quickly. And it's built on this notion of block programming. Block programming though is not new. Block programming tools are. So block programming actually, if you really want to be bored, um, but it's interesting for us geeks, the block programming is really all about functions or sets of instructions that tell something what to do. So software is nothing more than um, lines of instructions telling hardware what to do or possibly create some kind of a task and then be able to complete it. Now, programming languages have been around for quite a long time, um, late 1940s all the way up until today. And there's all kinds, uh, C Sharp and Java and COBOL and, and Pascal, and those are the old ones, right? But there's been a lot of programming languages. The problem is, learning the program was always perceived as being really, really complex. And it can be. But we realize that if we want to get new people to learn how to code or software program, we got to start giving them tools that allow them to do that. And now, or that is what brought about what's called block programming. Now, it may not be called block programming everywhere, but what it is, it's making use of a concept using these. Okay, so as we discussed here a second ago, we can make use of these. These are building blocks, right? We've seen these all before. And what we have are the different colors. But when we snap them together, they become something. Now, it might not be much, but it's a start. And then, if we follow the steps and we put it in a logical sequence, we can create something like this. Now, this is pretty complicated. This is pretty simple. Now, if we follow a sequence of steps and we bring these blocks together, we're going to ultimately get to something that is complicated or intricate or just plain old cool, right? So that's what block building does for us. Now what do these blocks really mean in terms of coding? So here we are inside of Scratch, one of the premier block coding type tools that are great for young people or anybody that's interested in learning how to code. When you look at this tool, it looks a little overwhelming at first, but really once you get into it, it's like a lot of things. You'll get really comfortable really fast. So block programming, just to demonstrate, here is our scratch the cat and we can interact with this sprite and make him do whatever we like through utilizing these blocks. The blocks are broken down into categories. We have something for looks, the way it looks. We have something even for sound. We can control it through events and ultimately with other control objects. So now when we come in here, you could start to see if we want scratch to move when we click this green flag, which begins our uh, animation we can then make him move. Control, we can have it do a repeat, which we snap the blocks. And there you go, there's the blocks snapping together. We select a motion to move him 10 times. So this particular block right here simply re represents what's known as a loop. A loop is something that you do over and over again until a certain task is completed or until you say so. So now we say repeat whatever is in here 10 times and then we move it so many steps, say 10 steps. Now steps are small here. So once we click the green flag, it moves, scratch the cat. Click it again, it moves again. So we build out these blocks, which are instructions 
to tell the sprite what to do. So with that being said, now you have a little bit of an understanding of what this block coding is or coding in general, and I'm hoping that's going to help you. But if you still have questions, be sure to reach out to me at any time. I'm available 24-7 through the web, of course, and I'd love to hear from you. Talk to you soon.